We've got a new sync points out, Dan, for the Earth Day special. Earth Day uh, came and went, uh, just like the planet Earth. That's right. Uh, so You're you, talking about the 1990 television 1990 special? 1990 Available right now on YouTube? Available on YouTube. You can watch it anytime you want, and then you can go get our sync points. As always, it's $2, but if you want it free... That's very possible. You can sign up for our Patreon, our new Patreon. Uh, if you join our $2 or more tier, you get all sync points past and present free. Uh, and until the end of time. Uh, until the end of time. Also, a bunch of Patreon-exclusive audio. We've already had some things up there. Uh, so you can check that out. And anybody who signs up for Patreon at any tier will get one free sync points, our pilot our unaired test show where we covered an episode of The Critic. Uh, so please, 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 if you haven't already, join us uh, on Patreon. Uh, and if you have already, thank you very much. Uh, and if you want more content from Wee Studios, go to WePodcast.com, WEEPodcast.com, and uh, enjoy the show. <laughs> minutes are on the clock and straight out of Wii Studios. This is 90s Percentile. My name is Jack. My name is Dan and we're talking everything 90s and maybe also everything before and after. That's right. And talking that whole swath of human history with us today is Matt Stein via satellite, I guess. I had this satellite's involved, right? Coming from the satellite uplink. <laughs> He's, it's Google Hangouts, but I'm assuming at some point there's a satellite. From the Justice League satellite watchtower. <laughs> How's it going, Matt? Fine. I would just assume there's 12 Russians involved, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And we, we, we Studios wouldn't survive without no. <laughs> our Russian friends. Without Vlad and <laughs> Boris. Vlad, <and> Boris. <laughs> Vlad, Igor, Igor, and Igor. <laughs> uh, they do, oh, they do good work. They do good work. So fans of this show uh, probably are already familiar with Matt. You've been a, you've been a guest on this show before. You've been on our uh, our Worst Episode Ever show. We've you've, been had on, all, you've had all of our guests. You've had all of our guests on your <laughs> show as well. Uh, you're the one of the co-hosts of Podcast of Terror. I think you host like nine other podcasts too, or you did. I'm I'm down to two. I just do podcast of terror and we're weekly. Right. And uh, yes, we are basically if you're on nineties percentile or worst episode ever, we are your rebound date. <laughs> <laughs> you're cleaning up. I, I, that's no, good. I said you know, uh, I saw, I noticed um, what is it? I, I guess iTunes maybe. If I yeah. if I look up our iTunes, it says uh, other listeners of this podcast also listen to, and it's usually one of the other Simpsons podcasts or yeah. you guys. Nice. Well oh, awesome. Really? Yeah, That's so cool. we're all one big circle jerk. One um, big happy family, Matt. So, yeah, I just, there's got to be a satellite involved, right? There's definitely satellites involved. But it's crazy, because, Matt, I'm talking to you right now. What number did I just say? Five. Five? Yeah, so like that's crazy because it's got it went up to space, <laughs> yeah, and it came back down, and like that's that's in re- a different part of the country. Yeah, it's really impressive. Well, technology's great. Who was I? Oh, I was I was uh, talking with former. Uh, Former guest Steel Filipek, uh, yeah. previous guest, not former guest. He'll be back on it eventually. Friend uh, of the show, Steel. And he was telling we were t- we were having this conversation. He was talking about something Joe Rogan said, uh, maybe on his podcast or somewhere. Joe Rogan said this. He's like, I've been doing stand up for twenty years, and I have no idea how this microphone works. Like, like what is? Yeah. Like I don't know what this. Is. Like, like you <laughs> could put me on an island for a hundred years, and I wouldn't be able to recruit. <laughs> you could give me like. You could give me a, like a saw, and I wouldn't have. I, of course nothing. not. No way. And no, it's amazing. It just amazes me that we're talking to you. You're in near Madison. What part of Wisconsin are you from? Uh, Appleton. Appleton. It's, uh, right. About a half an hour south-ish of Green Bay. There okay. you go. Which is a big city there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you if you pay any sort of attention to football, yeah, I know, I know. NFL. It was really uh, funny because Jack, was like, you were like I genuine, I think, and then it was just you, he was, but then he's just like it's a it's a big city. Green. It's actually Bay. not. It actually there there really isn't anybody there. That's what surprises right. me Some because it's it's got to be the smallest city to have a pro team, right? No, it I don't is. think so. Besides, is like, it? besides like the Meadowlands, <laughs> actually the Meadowlands, <laughs> yeah, like, that's like Newark, big. New Jersey, probably has more yeah, people than totally. Uh, actually, I think that the the New England team, because they're in bumfuck, is is actually smaller than Green Bay. But Green Bay only has like maybe a hundred thousand people. Oh wow! I was oh, thinking like yeah. three hundred thousand. Yeah, that's a hundred thousand is wow. a decent amount. Hundred thousand. That's. I, uh, I know, know a hundred thousand people personally. <laughs> we've we've had a hundred thousand guests. <laughs> yeah. Well, Staten Island's what about half a million? Uh, yeah. So that's nuts. Um, we don't have a team. Not more than that. Staten Island's like no, eight hundred no. thousand. It's, like, it's like it's in the four hundreds. No. Look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Look it up. This is not uh, population well, percentile. <laughs> but... I would love. How many podcasts are out there that just talk <laughs> population numbers? I would. Lo- I, I'm down for that. Matt, you down? 
yeah, absolutely. After, after Gremlins Sun- 3 uh, podcast, we'll do a population yeah, podcast. Yeah, we have to do that. we got to do the Gremlins 3. Let's do but population podcast. the 2015 podcast. census of Green Bay was 105,000 people. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay. So is it a bay? Like, what's the bay? Uh, yeah, it's, the it's, lake? It's on, it's on Green Bay. So it's... What's Green it's Bay? Kinda, it's so, a, it's right. a bay is it part of, green. Is it, one of, is it one of the Great Lakes? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Lake Michigan. Oh. Ah. So, so the, stop the doing thumb, that with your finger okay. and your hand. Your <laughs> hand. <laughs> if you take your hand, and this is Wisconsin. Sure. Green Bay is right in the ditch. So this is Door County, the peninsula. If you're uh-huh. listening to this, this is not any fun for you. Um, <laughs> but Green Bay, like, sits right here. So this is Green Bay. And All then, right. So in the crook of your thumb, this whole area is Lake Michigan. In the taint of, of Michigan. Michigan is over here, and this is Detroit. That's where people die. In murder town. <laughs> murder town, USA. There's a penis hanging off the top of Wisconsin. That's where maple syrup comes from. <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, <laughs> it trips out of the, of the, the penis. Yeah. It trips out of the top <laughs> right into mainland Michigan. I don't right. want to do population podcasts anymore. Well, just to close out population <laughs> podcast, 474,000 people on Staten Island. Oh, that sounds like what I said. Oh, it sounds a little closer <laughs> to me. We were doing prices Right rules closest to that going over. Wait, you went over by well, double. Well, it's you, great to have you here. You, you uh, doubled the population. <laughs> It was two one. populations. <laughs> it's two populations. <laughs> Matt, it's terrific to have you here. Uh, but you yeah. are a returning guest. You know what we do here. Uh, this crazy make up fun time. Uh, you I'm know just, the drill. Just realizing Everybody we did not start the timer. Rubs themselves with oil. I, did. I started it before oh, you we did. started. Yeah. You did start the timer. Oh, yeah. never mind. Okay, yeah, you're good. batting a thousand today, Dan. <laughs> Um, Doubling Staten Island's population, misjudging the timer. I don't know what else. What, what are the third thing? Three things, and I'm a real character, Jack. You murdered that homeless man well, before. I thought you weren't going to mention that on air. <laughs> Matt, oh, thanks. Because of his race. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? We had a know. fun little bit. I don't know. We I, had a fun little bit. I asked you. I said, why are you doing that? You said, I, he knows why. They all know why. And then you kept beating him. Listeners, <laughs> this is a joke. That has gone too far. <laughs> this is a joke. I, right now, uh, all of our listeners are, oh, my dad. I thought I knew him. I'm withdrawing my Patreon. Please don't. <laughs> I assumed he didn't beat people because of their race. <laughs> you said I murdered someone. <laughs> That's a hate crime. They're both hate crimes, but. I mean, I didn't say I don't beat anybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, murder is where I draw a line. <laughs> I think as long as you don't Facebook Live it, you're good. Oh. <laughs> we I'm tried sorry. Facebook Live. It didn't I feel, work. Oh, I, no. <laughs> it didn't oh, work that I've, well. I've been, I've been drinking a lot, and I even thought that went through, and I was like, fuck it, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? They don't edit anything out. No, our listeners know we're joking, and if we were to murder yeah, somebody, we'd yeah. use Periscope. <laughs> yes, clearly. It's much easier. It takes an hour Periscope to set up like for us. <laughs> We get all the hearts. Yeah, we get the porn bots being like kissy face <laughs> while we're murdering while people. Someone is being murdered. <laughs> this is disturbing. Uh, what a conversation! I we're hope having. the topic is going to be something like Care Bears, and like that's what <laughs> everybody thinks they're getting into. So then, like a mother is like, "Oh, I can listen to this in the car with my little little boy. They love Care Bears." <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire listening to our show. Hello. <laughs> My first day as a woman, I'm getting hot flashes. <laughs> My first day as a woman, I'm hearing Dan beating people because of their race. <laughs> so the bar I was at before I came home to hang out with you guys, there was literally like a skinny Robin Williams sitting behind me. Oh, man. Wow. That's cool. No, not really. It's a shitty story. I'm sorry. I wasted well, your time. Yeah, I, I, thought, do, I thought there might be like another thing it? to I it. I just pictured I regular picture. wa- Robin, like a scrawny body with a regular sized Robin Williams head. <laughs> That's what yeah, I pictured. I could picture that. He was pretty he skinny naked. back in the day. I mean, he was never All a big cocaine, fat guy. Yeah. 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 The cocaine, yeah. 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 <laughs> cocaine will do that. It's a hell of a drug. All right. Um, <laughs> R.I.P. Charlie Murphy. That's right. And, and, that's and, and moving on. <laughs> He's uh, not the guy you beat to death, is he? No. No one was beaten to death. You no, might cancer, be if you can't be shaggy enough. <laughs> but I'm white. Oh, God. That's from the rest I of the know, I know, I know. <laughs> white Poor, power. White power, Bill. <laughs> but I'm white. <laughs> All right, let's try and save this mess of a show. Uh, Matt, you've been on the show before, so you already know the drill. But in case you're a new listener, uh, what we're going to do, we have a a list of random topics that you can go to our website. It's wepodcast.com or 90spercentile.com to submit them. (laughs) Sorry. What's happening, Jack? In case you're a new listener, who would, if that was your first 10 minutes. People might jump in. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. They're long gone. They're gone now? 
Maybe or, we should they, not open the did, show. Or they didn't realize we're kidding, and they're sticking with us, and they're the type of listener we, we, we don't want, want one. We I'm don't really want enjoying this podcast. <laughs> it's terrific. I needed something to replace O'Reilly Factor. This is great. I love it. <laughs> I listen to these guys. I they're just great. tweeted Staten Island has 800,000 people. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> Staten Island is overcrowded. We need to start moving people out. Get rid of these refugees. Move them to Green Bay. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't want them. <laughs> oh, 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 don't you? Sanctuary city, huh? Oh, God. All right. So, Matt, you've been on a guest on the show before, so you do not have the right to choose a 90s topic. Bum, 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 bum. We are going to jump right into the random topic bum. generator. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Uh, so here we go. I have our first topic. Oh, it comes from a guy. His name is Daniel. And you know where he is? <laughs> is he from Seoul? <laughs> He's in Seoul. Wait, wait, wait. Christ almighty. Damn it. I wanted to get out. Oh, sorry, There's got to be a way to like shake up the random... I, I mean, like, I know he has a lot of topics in there, but what do we have? Like 15, 1600? Let, let, me, let me... I'm not looking into the I random topics I feel like statistically generator. he's still getting too many. I feel like we're not randomizing him enough. All right, so... Daniel, let, let's calm your tits a bit, bud. So I just looked, uh, I'm not looking at the topics, but I searched Daniel in Seoul in the random topic list, mm-hmm. and there are 149 topics out in there. Out of how many? Out of a total, I think we have over 1,000. So that's a 1 in 10 chance we're going to get a Daniel. 149 out of uh, uh, It's more than that. Jesus, we got a lot. Uh, we have over thir- 1,300. Yeah, so it's that's o- it's over twelve percent. We have over we have an over twelve percent chance of getting one a Daniel 13. from Seoul. So every every oh, pretty much every episode we're going to hear a Daniel. So <laughs> well, how does that work? We're, one in thirteen, pretty much every episode. Well, because we do if we do uh, thirteen topics, sir, th- three topics an episode, we average. So that's uh, that's, that's a three thirteen. That's a three in thirteen chance. This is not a math podcast. <laughs> this is not. I just feel what like you, I feel like you that's your, in math class. That's your fourth thing thing today. <laughs> I you fucked up the math. I don't know what you guys are. Oh, I don't Matt's know what you here. guys got going on tomorrow, but if you want, we could just hammer through all 100 topics. Let's oh, just ba- bang through all just of Daniel's topics. Do all the Matt for Soul topic, man. Yeah, we already wasted. Uh, yeah, we wasted 10 minutes. Do you think we could do it? Should we do it? Probably not. Let's do it. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Should we? <laughs> Should we do it? No, I, we shouldn't. Daniel's a good listener and a good topic submitter. Yeah, and he gets a whole episode dedicated to himself. Here's what we're going to do. Maybe the topic should people be... people like Daniel listen to my podcasts. Why don't we... Why don't, <laughs> let's not get silly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the height of comedy, listening to another podcast. Why don't we do a regular episode? We got Matt here. We haven't had him on in almost a year. Yeah. Do a regular episode. Let's go on our Twitters and whatnot. We'll do a poll. We'll see if people want us to do a Daniel for Soul episode. And if possible, if you're listening, Daniel, from Soul, not one of the other six Daniels. Sure. Uh, if you're against this, we won't do it. But yeah. if you're for it and the listeners are for it, I say we get Matt back on and at some point and we just get <laughs> we just, uh, we just all hammer the through. Daniel and Soul not topics. all of them Mom's because the he, should, he should have some in there, but like a hundred of them. All right. All right. We'll do yep. that. Let us know on our, our Twitter, our Reddit, Does our that sound uh, cool, Facebook. Matt? Oh, he's drinking. Matt, yeah, sorry, I was drink. taking a drink. <laughs> All right, but Daniel, yeah, I have your first topic here. I'm, a, I'm assuming you'll have other topics come up in this episode. Uh, the topic is Microsoft's Clippy. Oh. Clippy, the little clip art paper There's a very clip. famous wait, wait, don't tell me bit where they make fun of Clippy and they play it at all of their best ofs, like uh-huh. it's their go-to clip. Okay. No, no pun intended. Yeah, uh, right. And it's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like wait, you wait, just don't, got zinged. Wait, wait, don't I li- tell me. I love wait, wait, don't tell me. But they really love that Clippy bit. It's just like, hey, Clippy, he's annoying, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty annoying. Uh, Matt, you're are you very familiar with Clippy? Yeah, I mean, Clippy was a thing. I work in IT, so oh, okay. Clippy is kind of a common joke. But like, Still? Clippy was a thing before I gave a shit about a computer. Yeah, other than it was just boobs to me back then. <laughs> of course. Um, but I'm familiar with Clippy. I also feel like there isn't really a ton to say other than Clippy is a fucking asshole. Yeah, Clippy kind of sucks. We should sucks. explain it because I'm yeah. assuming our younger audiences don't know what a Clippy is. Yeah, so Clippy I don't even think is around anymore. But in Word, uh, it, it was kind of this like avatar uh, mascot thing that would pop up and help you from time to time. And like if you were writing a letter, it would pop up and be like this anim- anthropomorphic uh, paperclip and be like, oh, it seems you're writing a letter. Do you need any help? And you'd say, no, Clippy. <laughs> I need you to die in a you fire. Just, you just exit out. Um, I don't have Microsoft Word on any of my devices. Uh, so I don't I either. I I'm, on, I'm on a Chromebook. I don't what, believe. What does Chrome use? Uh, Google Docs. Uh, Google Docs is their. their yeah, that's see their to me. Google suite. Docs is like whenever I want to do a shared doc. I never considered it. I like don't know. A, yeah, oh, no, I use Google Docs all the time. It's interesting. It's um, the best. Uh, yeah, we, uh, um, I can't. I mean, 
I like the idea. Basically, it's to make using the help bar more fun. Sure. And Microsoft Office is just the f- most faceless, dead, soul-crushing application ever, you know, as someone is who it? uses it every day. Well, mm-hmm. it's, it's you know, you use it to get business done. We need a business done. See, I use Word all the time to write my stories. Ah, that's not what I'm... I'm <laughs> writing legal letters and such. You wrote oh, your DTC like skips on it. Like snapshots of boobs, and then I copy <laughs> them and paste them into Word documents and just print off sheets of boobs. <laughs> and Clippy real? comes up and is just like, you look like you're horny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need assistance? Here See, are hot you singles need, in your you area. Help taming that boner? <laughs> well, now you got this whole uh, B- uh, B- uh, VHS Betamax thing. Uh, war going on between the digital assistants. You got Siri versus uh, Google Now. Google Now versus like, uh, versus um, <laughs> Cortana. A, Cortana. What's the new one? Uh, Amazon Echo. No, Alexa. Uh, Alexa. No, no, no. no. Go- the the, the oh. new new one that we're Google, uh, Google Home. The yeah. Samsung one. Samsung's got one too. I didn't even. Yeah, know this. and like Google's pissed off because it's like, no, we want you to use Google Now. They oh, it has like a name like Simon or something. Anyway, um, Simon Samsung. Now Cortana is cool because. She's from Halo. She's the AI from Halo. Right. And, and Microsoft is, you know, it's all connected. Yep. So that's cool. And uh, fucking useless. It is, it's terrible. I, I had it on my Xbox One. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of voice control. Uh, and I always use X, my use I use my Xbox 360 for everything. It's like Xbox Pause, Xbox Play, Xbox Fast Forward. It's great when you have barbecue sauce all over your hands. Uh, and I <laughs> Which got is the, often in, the, yeah. in Europe house. And I got the Xbox One. And <laughs> so I got Cortana. And Cortana is different from Xbox Voice Control. Xbox Voice Control is straight up voice control. Cortana is like every other digital assistant. Whoop. Right. Oh, no. We just lost Matt, but now he's back. Nope. Matt, you're back? All right. So uh, Cortana is like every other digital assistant. When you say, hey, Siri, what's the weather? It literally goes to the internet, yeah. find, it goes to those satellites, those Russians, and it comes back with the weather. Yeah. So Cortana would do the same thing. She would go to the internet, to wherever her server is, and process, what is Jack saying to me right now? And then give me a response. So I would be like, Xbox, pause. Boop. Pause. Like, it would take five <laughs> seconds to pause. It was oh, yeah. useless. So I had to uninstall it. So... If it's not immediate, it's useless yeah, voice control. It exactly. has to be, you know, so second to Cortana second. Cortana was a complete failure for the Xbox One. Yeah. My point is, though, as much as I love Halo and I understand the reference, what Clippy was kind of the prototype to the digital assistants. They should have made it Clippy. Yeah. If, yeah I know Windows well, Phone flops. people hated Clippy. <laughs> Why? Because he was so annoying. It Why was just, is he annoying? It was a paper clip with googly eyes that What's no one liked. What's wrong with that? That sounds, no that sounds like it. a home run to me. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's annoying uh, because he popped up when you didn't need him. Correct. So if you reinvented him, like all the other digital assistants, where you are you say, talking about a gritty Clippy <laughs> reboot? Because <laughs> I am on board. I want a Netflix thirteen episode <laughs> Clippy, the tr- the untold story of Clippy. He has like a Chinese best friend because you have to have the China movie studios <laughs> like <laughs> co financing. Sure. The, yeah. the gritty reboot. Yeah. It's a thumbtack, I guess. <laughs> Okay, the yeah. most Chinese of office supplies, <laughs> the thumbtack. Yeah, no, I want like a gritty, R-rated, yeah. <laughs> like I, Ryan I, Reynolds starring Clippy. I, I want <laughs> Ryan Reynolds to be Clippy. So Clippy is Quippy, too, because if Ryan Reynolds is playing him... <laughs> Quippy should be Deadpool the name thing. of the uh, the thumbtack. Yeah. This has gotten out of control quick. It um, has. Samsung's AI is called Bixby. Bixby, Bixby. that's Bixby. right. I have heard of that. Because I hate when you fucking guys get shit wrong. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, well, bad. and this is a bad show for you to listen to. <laughs> Everything you guys say, I fact check. Uh, you're not um, the only one. You're, no, all no, of our I'm listeners sure. do that. Uh, we we yeah, love it. I have, I have two on the on the topic of uh, AI. We we have two Amazon Echoes, and I I love them. I use them to turn my lights on. I turn my TV on. I can listen to music. I have one in the bathroom upstairs because Ew. who wants to shower without being able to listen to uncomfortable death metal? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> not this guy. Not, not you. Um, <laughs> But honestly, the last thing I use it for is to like tell me the weather or the news because TMZ always works its CDS in there, and I don't fucking care about what Kardashians are doing. TMZ. Ah, so and you'll you'll your, be like, yeah. "Hey, Echo, what's the news?" And it'll be like, "Kim Kardashian had another <laughs> sex tape." Well, you can't masturbate to this, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see. I've always wanted an Alexa since they came out. I hear everybody who has one loves it. Thing is, I can't find yeah. any uses for it because I don't I, use yeah, Pandora. I don't know what I would use it for. I think it's good if you have a house. In a car, I like guess. I'm not going to yeah, wire my it. lights to it because I've thought about wiring my lights to Siri because it's great to say, "Hey Siri, turn the lights on." 
but I have one light that lights up my whole apartment. Right. <laughs> and I already have a wireless. Uh, I, I was I was into wireless years ago. I bought this. I bought this for my grandma a week before she died. So now it's mine. Oh boy. <laughs> I go, grandma. You, I know you've been having trouble reaching the lamp lately. Yeah. I, I didn't realize because she's dying. So, uh, so I got her this like wireless uh, this light switch. And yeah, that, see, if you I, look I there, see it yeah, over there. It yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. a real light switch, but it's it's on right. But you Velcro. can remove. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's a portable light switch. But. I yeah yeah I don't need that I don't need it hooked up to my car because I don't own a car uh, I don't have Pandora I don't need it to listen to podcasts because I use Bluetooth headphones so I listen right from my phone sure I can't think of a solid use for my for 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 an Alexa but everybody I know who has it loves it what yeah do you, what, you, don't have, you don't have Spotify or anything do you no I I, I have well what, I usually listen to audiobooks and podcasts but when I listen to music I listen to my MP3s. You're so yeah, you're like one of the only people who still has MP3s, Jack. Yeah, no, it's weird. Yeah. Getting it's, the streaming. I, I gave up on like MP3s and and just went the way of Spotify and just saving albums because yeah, that and vinyl. So I'm like a digital hipster. Yeah, that sounds about meaning? right. Yeah, <laughs> um, but and, and but he proves a valid point. Like I have it for my lights and I have it for automation purposes. Which, if you had a house, sounds amazing. Yeah, which I own one, and we just bought another one like fucking idiots. But that's a different podcast. Um, <laughs> no, nah, you need one. You need no. Them in this different is rooms. the fucking idiots podcast. <laughs> you need them in different nah, rooms. But like, if you hook it up to your, you can hook up to your car and be like, Alexa, how much gas do I have left in the tank? Can you like, actually do that? Well, you'd have to. Have oh, a we smart gotta stop car. doing that, by the way. Drive a we're fucking still, we're still on. Highlander. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, um, you, no. We gotta, we gotta stop saying Alexa. If people are listening to this on their Alexa, we're fucking up their Alexa right now. Oh, if it was just like Alexa. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. That's like a, that's like a huge faux pas. Is it really? Yeah. I because McDon- I, McDonald's did it, or Burger King uh, did Burger it. Burger King did it. Yeah. No, I, actually, I, I, I listen to the, a lot of tech podcasts. If you say order me five, fifty million condoms, it'll say. This is what I'm going to order. This is the cost. Do you want it? So you still have to confirm the order. All right. So that's, I call bullshit on everybody. Yeah, I also call that's why bullshit I have on an, everybody. I, I keep coming close to buying dash buttons on, for the Amazon, and I haven't yet yeah. because yeah, I think you also have to confirm that. And it's just like, look, I do need paper towels on a regular basis, but I feel like I could just yeah. – it takes two seconds you know for me to need? go to Amazon. You, you need that we a sugar mama who works for a company that makes toilet paper. There, I got you, there you go. Are you, of it, so are you yeah. offering you, your you wife You got the up? hookup there, huh, <laughs> Matt? Yeah, you, you guys want her? He doesn't cook. I want the toilet paper. Is it too high? I don't want to enter into this wife sharing situation. It sounds like you're promoting. <laughs> do you need? Do you have any use for a, a, a young adult author? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want me to send you some toilet paper, like we got it. So the fucked up part is I got to get rid of the stuff, and I can't shit fast enough because <laughs> our new house is on septic, and I'm not on ah. that city city plumbing anymore. Off the grid. Like, you're yeah, living the dream. Off the grid. <laughs> Pooping in a big so bucket in the backyard. <laughs> hey, I had uh, uh, my grandma had a septic tank, and uh, the fig tree. We, we had the best figs. I, oh I got, man, they, they, were, they were amazing. It tastes like Indian food. No, the poop smell doesn't go. It gets, it gets filtered out. The gets, poop smell. The, 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 the fig smells like poop, Jack. I'm sorry to tell the you. Chlorophyll filtered it out. That's what it's for. I ate that fig. <laughs> Is it? Is it safe to say that we're done talking about Clippy? Wait, wait, wait. wait I wait, actually wait. had one more thing yeah. I wanted to bring up about Clippy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't know if it's the same thing you wanted to bring up. No. Uh, what Are you still talking about AIs? Uh, no, what were we, we were just talking about before you mentioned... Oh, toilet paper. Yeah. Um, no, this is the perfect time for me to tell my, my toilet paper story. Is it? Is so, it the perfect time? No. So my freshman dorm, uh, the way it worked was you when you walk in, there was a guard at the door. Right. Uh, and then you would ask... Oh, actually, there was also an RA, I guess. And you would ask the RA, can I get a roll of toilet paper? And they would give you one from the front desk. That's how you got toilet paper. For, okay. For the, so me and my roommate... But this is like a communal bathroom situation. No, no, no. We all had our own bathroom. You had your own bathroom? Yeah, you don't remember? You were in my wow. freshman dorm, right? I don't, I don't remember I what the bathroom got, situation was. I had the best freshman dorm because it was the corner top floor, so I had a view of the World Trade Center, the Empire State Building, and the Hudson River. Yeah. Well, the, the, the smoking well, not, rubble. not so much the World Trade <laughs> yeah, Center, but yeah. The smoking rubble. But um, we were the only ones where they didn't. They forgot to take out the fridge, so we had a f- fully functional kitchen, which was That's nice. That's awesome. Um, anyway, me and my roommate, uh, Joey... Uh, shout out to Joey. Every time we walked, Joey. literally every time we walked into the dorm from class or whatever, we were like, can I get a roll of toilet paper? 
and we would just get rolls. Of, we would get two, three, four a day. Yeah. And we built up in our bathroom a wall of toilet paper. Nice. And I get oh, I would get so mad. Everybody on our floor found out, and they would instead of going downstairs to get toilet paper, they yeah, just they come it. to you. Oh, and I was so mad because like no, we're building a wall. Anyway, we thought it was really funny. We took a picture when we hit, we hit 100. Uh, and then we moving day came. <laughs> like It was June, and we were ready to go. And it, my, my roommate, Joey, lived in uh, L.A., and he's like, I'm not taking them. Yeah. So I just took like t- three garbage bags full of toilet paper home <laughs> with me. And I just Why t- wouldn't you just leave them? Well, it was, it was save money. <laughs> So, uh, all right. <laughs> so, 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 free, we, free toilet paper. Yeah. You can't turn that yeah. down. So, I took it and I put it in the basement because that's where we could fit it with storage. And that's where my Uncle Frank lived. And he, he stole it all. He sold it for crack. There you so, go. So, I lost all my toilet Man. paper. Man, you don't remember my wall of toilet paper? I don't remember the wall of toilet paper. I have a picture. I'll post a picture. Poor Uncle Frank was real desperate if he's selling toilet paper yeah. for drug money. I, mean, was, I, don't, I don't think he had sucked dick at that point. So, okay. he wasn't that desperate. But. <laughs> Um, um, but yeah, well, remind me because I'll forget. We're recording this a little ahead of time. Uh, remind me and I'll post a picture of my wall of toilet paper. All right. Um, I want to circle back to Clippy real quick. I do have one more thing I wanted to say. Uh, are you is it guys, about your crack uncle? It's about my crack uncle who had sex with Clippy. Uh, no, it is actually... <laughs> oh, that's painful. It is actually about having sex with Clippy, though. That is oh. what I wanted to bring up. Uh, are you guys <laughs> a, a familiar with Chuck Tingle? Do you know who that yes, is? Yes, yes. Big fan. So he, he writes these erotic novels on Amazon, and I first heard about him when he came out with the novel Conquered by Clippy, an erotic short story. <laughs> this guy is my hero. He self-publishes erotica novels, and they're ridiculous. And yeah, he's made, intentionally ridiculous He's erotica. made like millions of dollars from it. I, 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 I wish him well if he did make millions. I don't no. know if it's quite that much. Maybe it is. I, but I, I think he's up there with E.L. James at this point. Because they're like $3, $2 each. Yeah, but they're, know, it's they're like super the, cheap. But it's the, but big, it's the, like the biggest subgenre on Kindle. Yeah. Uh, like It's I like the, the raptor had sex. And the titles are ridiculous. It's like, the raptor had sex with me while my pants were down. Yeah. Yeah, I Googled this man's name. Oh, nice. And here are just a few gems. All right, read them out for us, Matt. Space raptor butt. Space Raptor Butt Invasion. <laughs> yep. Butt Ageddon. <laughs> butt Ageddon. Butt Because like Armageddon, they're both body parts. Are you prepared for this one? I actually have to click on the picture because the text gets a little Uh-oh. too small. Uh-oh. Donald Trump pounded in the butt by his fabricated wiretapping scandal made up with <laughs> redirect focus away from his seemingly endless, unethical connections to Russia. And now these are like 50, 60 pages long. He probably cranks them out in a week. That's one that of my favorite free. books. That one's free on Amazon Kindle. Unlimited, <laughs> it's a free book and it's well worth every penny. <laughs> Uh, the guy's my, the guy's a hero. Uh, I've never read any of his work, but the fact that he's making money, good, good on him. I, I'm jealous. <laughs> just scary stories to tingle your butt. I'm looking at. I think I'm looking at the same list as Matt is looking at because I just saw handsome sentient food pounds my butt and turns me gay. <laughs> they, they're amazing. Just the titles alone are incredible. But yeah, they're like five bucks, six bucks. Uh, amazing. So I'm surprised at that much. Yeah, I, I feel like he may have raised his prices. You know, he's in demand. Maybe maybe he is making those well, millions. Well, I think he's like Grumpy Cat now. I think he makes most of his money from, like, uh, book signings and shit. Well, he is r- very reclusive, I think. I don't think he does signings. I don't think anyone knows who he actually is. Is it me? It could be. <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> Chuck Tingle, if you're out there, let us know. Oh, wait, I'm not a millionaire. Jack, I have to and... steal toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the definition of a millionaire. <laughs> Someone who doesn't have to steal toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's probably going to do it for our Clippy conversation. Thank you, Daniel from Zoll. So thank you, Daniel from Zoll. Uh, so we are going to go into the random topic generator and get our next topic, which comes from someone who is not Daniel from Zoll. Uh, it Damn. is Car Newly. Thank you, Car. He's another uh, a, a frequent uh, submitter, yeah. and I hope I'm saying his name right. He's corrected me several oh, yeah, times. Oh, yeah, yeah. Newly. He said it. It's like the adverb, newly. Uh, you sure? I think so. Okay. If he didn't, uh, let me know, Car. If I'm fucking it up again, I apologize. But his topic is Dawson's Creek. I don't want to wait. I've never seen See? a single episode. I think he went to yeah. NYU film school, and Michelle Williams was in it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, I think Matt, you also said you never watched it. Yeah, I'm a straight male. <laughs> <laughs> I never watched it either. I mean, literally, I guess it was ahead of its time, though, right? Um, Teen soap—that's like the, that's all the rage on the freeform and the uh, the CWs right now. Yeah, but they kind of had that already. Like, I feel like 90210 and even like no, 90210 is for adults. Was it? 
I don't know. My family I mean, watched I it. I mean, Dawson's Creek was arguably also for adults because my mom watched it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's pretty much she all I know like, about. She was just like, "I wish my kids were like that." Dawson. <laughs> I love Pacey. So handsome. That's jo- all I know. Joshua Jackson. Joshua Jackson was yeah. Pacey, and then it was Katie Holmes, Michelle he Williams, had sex with his teacher, and James Vanderbeek. Yeah, I remember that. that oh yeah, like Katie Holmes. One. That was her big, her yeah. big breakout. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh yeah. The Beak from the Creek. <laughs> I and, like James uh, Vanderbeek. I do fun. too. He played. He was the, great the, on the Red Ranger. He played the Red Ranger. Yeah, in uh, or the, one of the. I think he played Red Ranger. No, he played uh, Green Ranger. Tommy, I think. In uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The, the fan film Power Rangers that like oh, started this oh, whole oh. reboot trend. Got it. Okay, yeah. And you ever saw that? I did see that, St- but Starbuck forever ago. Starbuck played Pink Ranger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Power slash Rangers, yeah, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. they stole because mm-hmm. the, the the real movie is called Power Lightning Bolt Rangers. Yeah. Way to steal from your own fans, Power the, Rangers. I don't understand what the slash Zordon would be <laughs> abhorred. You mean Brian Cranston? You're the Power Rangers. <laughs> is that you, Brian Cranston? Yes, it is. I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Because <laughs> he was on is that, that show where he was knocking all the time. There's a little Harrison Ford in there. <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> Get off my plane. <laughs> Sig points number six available Everywhere. on our Patreon. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I honestly don't have that much to say about Dawson's Creek. It'd be nice if we had someone on the show who knew about Dawson's Creek. Yeah, our format's not, uh, Sorry. It's, it's, it's heavily flawed. I wasn't, <laughs> that was not a knock at you, Matt. I mean, I, you no, know. No, I know. I, I'm I, apologizing to I, whomever. Can uh, we come on Podcast topic. of Terror and do Dawson's Creek? Do, 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 do. Yes. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I, I think, I know Dan listens. I don't know Jack, and I don't blame you if you don't. Our podcast isn't. <laughs> I listen to Podcast but of Terror. We did, we did Xanadu for, uh, um, April Fools, and I had a ton of fun with that. So oh, do, I did not listen free. to that one actually. I well, usually if I haven't seen the movie, I I don't listen to that. You part. know, I saw that, and it didn't even occur to me that it like yeah. that, that it wasn't a horror because it's like yeah, that makes sense. I, it, it, like it, <laughs> because <laughs> because I, piece of shit because yeah, I just, I just it, it like I fi- I've never seen that do. I just file it in the back of my head as bad movie, and you know you cover a lot of bad horror movies. That's funny. Yeah. I didn't even make the connection. That's hilarious. That's actually a great April Fool's prank. Yeah, that's awesome. I yep, like podcasts that do April Fool's jokes. We didn't do one for nineties <laughs> percent. Not for nineties. Stole no, that idea didn't. from you guys. Nice. Yeah, well, you know, steal from the best. That from you. <laughs> Stealing is the finest form of flattery. That's right. Yeah, you know, I steal a lot of ideas from you and, and your guests. guests, ideas, guests, my money, underwear, <laughs> toilet I have, paper, I under my toilet Matt's paper. My, Matt's my uncle Frank. Oh, all right. I, I, he, he relocated. <laughs> he got he, he got any baloney? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. He didn't scratch <laughs> like that. <laughs> Did oh, he, Jack? Sorry, man. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know your uncle Crackhead. I haven't seen your uncle in a number of years. He drives a taxi, so if you ever get a taxi on Staten Island, uh, all right. You might get him. Don't don't get him. My 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 no, brother. Was t- it my brother or my sister? Somebody accidentally like got him as a yeah, cab. Uh, really? And uh, they said <laughs> they said he, he, like he he was taking somebody on a fare, and then he had to go pick something up from his buddy's house, and he just stopped at the house and left the fare in the back seat. Oh no! I think it was my brother. I left my brother in the back seat while he ran in and got some stuff. And, oh, like, all right. Took ten minutes and then got back and <laughs> took the oh, guy. Geez. On the- <laughs> Yikes! Yeah. You were you there when we went to, when he was working for Seven Eleven like that one week before he got fired? Yes. He's like, hey, take some donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's fine. Just I take do. the donuts. <laughs> I do we're remember like, oh, that? All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. And we thought it was like you know you work in Seven Eleven. Yeah, free, you get some freebies. You, no, no, you're no, stealing, and he got fired <laughs> three days shortly later. thereafter. <laughs> take the donuts. Uh, it's good to see you. They were good donuts. He was a good guy. Yeah, just yeah, drugs, drugs are horrible. Yeah. Uh, he's before a decent, you guys get into another topic, you want to hear another good Chuck Tingle? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to hear three or four more. Okay, slammed in the butt by Donald Trump's attempt to avoid accusations of plagiarism <laughs> by removing all facts or concrete plans from his Republican National Convention speech. Amazing. I feel bad because I I, I know Chuck Tingle had like three or four like f- like um, supporters, fans that he got along with, and they would comment on the Reddit, and they were really fun. And then he made one too many fake Trump titles, and they were like, you know what? This this Chuck Tingle's gotten too political. I'm walking out. <laughs> God damn it, Chuck. You got to uh, double down. Two, two more quick ones. Oh, man. There's so Is that one of them? Ones. You got to double Chuck's, down? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Chuck's unicorn tinglers. <laughs> Isn't oh, that boy. the new Starbucks drink? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I hear it tastes like uh, puking after Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Last one before we get into the next one. Pounded in the butt by the sentient manifestation of my own ignorant climate change <laughs> denial. That's, <amazing. laughs> that's, that's br- incredible. That, like I couldn't come up with. Well, you know what? Let's play a quick game. Everybody, make nope. up your own Chuck Tingle title. Oh we'll my start God. with our guest, Matt. Give us a. Don't look at a real one. 
All right, all right, all right. Let me close this. All right. All right. <clears throat> oh, man, I don't think this is good. Uh-huh. And I want everybody uh-huh. in our Reddit to also sub- submit their... Yeah, their, absolutely. Or tweet at us uh, with the hashtag <laughs> uh, 90s Unicorn tingle. pounded me in the butt by a manifestation of my grandma. Ah, that's uh, not very good. No, that's, 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 that's good. That's, good. that's, good. that's, that's a good, good one. one. Yeah, you know, I'm sure Chuck Tingle's first one wasn't wasn't gold right out of the gate. That was a good silver. Gold right yeah, Chuck Dan. Uh, okay. I see um, you looking around the room for things. I was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't, use Don't use me. Don't use me. All right, let's. I'll, I'll go political with it, I guess, because that's that's an easy target. Let's say uh, um, fingered in the butt by Ooh. Mike Pence's religious denial <laughs> of homosexuality. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. We got Jack. Blow okay. us away. Okay. Uh, Literally. Sticking your tongue in my pee hole while <laughs> podcasting about <laughs> while podcasting about that time Martha Stewart was in jail, uh, but it really wasn't that big of a deal uh, with three other naked men. Yeah. Well, we, oh, we are all naked. I thought that was <laughs> was that cut from the beginning of the episode. Um, that's amazing. Yeah. So I'm yeah, looking... tweet. Twi- what's a good hashtag for that? <laughs> hashtag Tinglers. tinglers. <laughs> we both went to the same spot with a, with a Z. Tinglers. I'm assuming, right? Of course, with All a right, Z. So, so hashtag Tinglers with a Z. Yeah. Send us uh, at 90s percentile and at um, Chuck Tingle if he's on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, your your oh, fake Ch- Chuck Tingle titles. Yeah. And Chuck Tingle, if you're listening, we would love to have we you would on the love show. To have and you, on you can the show. have any of these ideas for free. By the way, I actually don't think Chuck Tingle did write the book about Clippy. <laughs> I think it was a different erotic <laughs> so author. So we're just talking about Chuck. <laughs> well, he's like the famous, you know, the guy. But yeah, so who wrote the Clippy one? Um, Clippy doesn't see. seem Tingle style, to be honest. I haven't heard a pounded in the butt <laughs> while a sentient Excel sheet uh, gives you uh, reformats your, uh, I your never, I cells. Never, I never thought my life would come to this, where I just googled Clippy erotica. <laughs> uh, it is written are there, by. Are there any good pictures? Did you image Chuck search? Tingle does have a Twitter, by the way. Leonard okay, Delaney good. wrote "Conquered by Clippy." So All right, Leonard Delaney. Leonard. Uh, also, we'd love to have you on the show. That's a big faux pas for. Uh, that's a big uh, mistake of ours. Now, uh, let me just see the images of uh, Clippy Erotica. It's just the cover of the book. There's nothing to uh, untoward. Invaded by the iWatch was a follow-up. <laughs> There's no iWatch. It's the Apple Watch. Yeah. Ooh, that would be a good one. Like a a, a, a book about like having an orgy with Alexa and Siri and Bixby and uh, Google Now. All right, there's another <laughs> Google Now. Just... AI orgy with a fist in my butt. There you go. Yeah. There you oh, go. That's there's a, a good perfect one. Tinglers. There's your perfect. There's, there's a Matt Stein Tingler for that's you. That's amazing. I'm so glad we got to talk right. about Dawson's uh, Creek. Yeah, please, please, uh, please put the Reddit. Uh, please do, in the Reddit. But actually, I would prefer you tweet at 90s percentile at uh, Chuck Tingle. Hashtag Tinglers. Um, also, I? uh, I'm going to do one more for our topic here. Go for it. Okay. Um, Pacey, Pacey up the butt with James Vanderbeek uh, and Michelle Williams and Katie Holmes on the WB before it was the CW. Uh, yeah. And also, uh, I like <laughs> Joshua Jackson has the same birthday as me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> That's a bad one. I'm sorry. I, I, I have a good one, but also, uh, I, Matt, I like that you just tweeted at both of us about Chuck Tingle yeah, while yeah. we're recording a podcast. <laughs> but if we're going to do up. a Dawson's Creek uh, related uh, Chuck Tingler. Yeah, yeah. Um, up Dawson's Creek without a paddle. Ooh. That's too clever, though. I was going to say either uh, rammed Dawson rammed in the butt by the actual creek. <laughs> a sentient creek. A sentient creek. Or uh, fingered in the butthole by Michigan J. Frog, the <laughs> spokesperson for the WB. Coming up next on WB. <laughs> My finger up your butt. <laughs> he only does it when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Here comes my finger up your butt. Oh boy, <laughs> that's why they got rid of him. He was a little, he was a little too frisky with some of the uh, cast members. Is it Michigan <laughs> J. Frog like an alt right thing? Now? No, that's Pepe the Frog. Uh, okay. That's a totally different frog. Are you? Is there? Do you guys like Michigan J. Frog, or is there like an animosity because it's not Wisconsin J. Frog? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't think Matt has thought about Michigan J Frog before this moment. Oh, I assumed everybody's oh. like me and Dan. Michigan J Frog always in the forefront. Always. I'm always like, what would Michigan J Frog do? <laughs> WWMJFD. <laughs> oh yeah, Michigan J Frog. He's, On the he's WB. You, you, you gotta remember, I come from a state where people eat each other. 
I don't give a fuck about a frog. Yeah, you got bigger problems than cartoons. Um, awesome. So, so sorry we couldn't go more into Dawson's Creek. But we did get to uh, do some tinkers. Oh, and also we should mention, that was Kevin Williamson, wasn't it? It was Kevin Williamson, yeah. So he's uh, he did uh, Scream. Scream, yep. Uh, now he's big again with a bunch of CW shows, right? Uh, is he involved with Riverdale? I don't know Stay if Stay out is. of Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, he I'll also did The Killing. Uh, Scream was the big one. Let me look up his old also, biography up here. until a few years ago, I always thought he was black. I was thinking of... Um, Kevin Michael Richardson? Yeah. The voice actor? Exactly. And uh, then I saw him, and he's like this tiny white guy. Yeah, I think he's uh, a nondescript white guy is what he looks like. Uh, he did the following and a show called Stalker. Uh, he wrote, I Know What You Did Last Summer, The yeah. Faculty, Teaching Mrs. Ooh. Tingle, <laughs> interestingly oh, enough. Teaching yeah. Mrs. Tingler's. Uh, I like The Faculty. That's an underrated movie. Ask Robert Rodriguez, too. That's an underrated movie. Yeah, movie. Ooh, that'd a be great a good movie. podcast. Terror oh. Movie. Yeah, if only someone hosted a, a horror movie podcast around yeah. here. If you guys the, haven't uh, done it, I'm going to hang on to that the, one. Uh, the, 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 the blonde in that, beautiful. What's his face? Yeah. Uh, he also played Frodo. <laughs> Wait, Elijah Wood? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> He's not blonde, is he? No, it? no. I, was, I love Elijah Wood. I realized Wood. what I said was kind of sexist, so I tried to water it down. Oh, with I, a see, joke. I see what's yeah. happening. She yeah, went with Josh Hartnett, even though he's also not he's, a blonde. He's hand- oh, actually, uh, Famke Jansen's in it as the teacher. Yes, she with. is. And, oh, my uh, God. If there's Famke anything Jansen. sexier than uh, teachers having sex with the, the underage students. Yeah. it's. I don't Tom, know what it Famke is. Famke Jansen. Chuck Tingle, get on that. Hey, now. <laughs> Pounded in the butt by my over my uh, statutory rape uh, teacher, <laughs> who I then went and married. By my statutory <laughs> rape teacher. She taught me a lot about statutory <laughs> rape. Yeah, who was t- Mrs. Tingle was teaching me. Hey, now. Uh, all right, so I think we can move on. So thanks so much, Carr, for that suggestion. Wait, wait, you didn't mention that there's Kevin. He's got something big now, something current. Uh, I don't Not know that he has something big BS. now. No, that's the last thing he's got on his Wikipedia page, at least. Vampire Diaries. He had something oh, to yeah, do maybe, with. Maybe I'm thinking of that. But that's over, also. There's something. There's, really, it's over. Yeah, that just ended pretty recently. It's, God, that was on in college, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't. Um, what's uh, yes. scream? Oh, is it time after time? Is that it? Yeah, I guess. Has that's that come out yet? I don't that's know. That's the show on ABC. It's like it looked, uh, the t- based commercials on the movie. Were terrible. Oh, it was canceled immediately. Yeah, canceled yeah. after H- five it episodes. It was H. G. Wells tracking down Good. Jack the Ripper. Th- in right. Time. It was based on oh, a movie. Oh, the with Christopher Reeve McDowell. movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I've never seen, uh, yeah. but I always wanted to. And I was like, oh, they made a show out of that. That's weird. And it well, has been canceled. I didn't even know it had come on yet. Time so after time, the number one song in America, the day I was born. There you go. Based yes. on the film. Uh, all right, so thanks, Carl. Is it? No, of course not. <laughs> uh, if you look in, you'll find me. I, you'll, I don't know. I will you, find me. You, you, did that, you pulled that same stunt. Uh, the Goonies are good enough, and that turned out to be true. <laughs> that one's true. And a great music video featuring lots of wrestling's <laughs> finest bad guys. This is an 80s percentile. All right. Uh, okay, so I have one more topic for us. Well, I mean, we could have a lot more topics, but uh, I feel like we got, we're running out of time here. So uh, this topic comes from Yakub Bayani. So thanks, hey, Yakub. Thanks, Yakub. Uh, this topic is Escape from L.A. Oh, now, I have seen Escape from New York. I've never seen Escape from L.A. I remember the trailer. Los Angeles is now an island after an earthquake. <laughs> you survived Cleveland. You may have survived New York. You will not survive Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, but we should explain real quick. It seems like, Matt, have you seen Escape from L.A.? I've seen Escape from L.A., but not Escape from New York. What? What an odd what? thing to do. What? Escape do from New York is a great movie. you understand? I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, it's sh- on Netflix, I think, Escape from New York. Escape from New York's in, like, Top 5 Carpenter. It's such a great movie. And it has a great soundtrack, too, okay. also done by John Carpenter. Whoa. Top 5 Carpenter, let's go. What do we uh, got? Matt, what you do we first. got? Favorite John Carpenter. Let's go. We'll each do our top two John Carpenter movies. Top Are we going five? five you, we're going five, four, three, two, one, or one, two, three, four, five? I don't even think we should do top five. It's too many. Three, two, one? Three, two, one. We I could do five. Four. I could do five. I, uh, John Carpenter is one of my favorite directors. Um, God, what's my favorite John Carpenter movie? Thing, easily. Halloween. Do, the thing is in there. Halloween, not in my top three. Probably oh, not yeah. in my Halloween, top five. Halloween's, yourself, Halloween's, Halloween's, <laughs> Halloween's either my number two or number three. Escape from New York is also number two or number three. I think I got to go. I don't know the order yet, but The Thing, Big Trouble, Little China, and... Uh, I saw Big Trouble, uh, Little China for the first time ever. Uh, they Live. They Live would be like my number oh, four or number God. five. I love that. Um, it's, so div- it's so difficult to choose John Carpenter. Assault on Precinct 13 is up there. So much. You know what's bottom? The Fog. Yeah, I never saw The Fog. 
Um, um, I have not seen all of his films. Um, and I never about Elvis, the TV movie? <laughs> I didn't Starring see that. Kurt Russell. No, I would go The Thing, Escape from New York, Halloween, um, They Live, Assault on Precinct 13. If you've not seen They That's Live, one, two, three, go four, see They Live. I only saw it for the first time a few weeks ago. Go it is yourself. amazing. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. I never realized the uh, I kick ass and, and, and chew bubblegum chew bubble gum comes from that. It's all out of bubble and it was gum. an ad lib. I mean, Rowdy Roddy Piper was amazing. Rest yeah. in peace. He's dead? Oh, yeah. He, he died, died a little uh, longer, right? last year, I think. Um, Pour one out for Roddy Piper. Oh, that's sad. Uh, I noticed neither of you, and especially myself, we didn't say Escape from L.A., which Don Carpenter directed. Okay, so it gets a bad yeah. rap because it's really, really lame and cheesy compared to the awesomely awesome Escape from New York. Yeah, Escape from New York's a great but movie. But Escape from L.A. is not a... It's, it's a cheesy movie, but it's not bad. It's well done. It's got kitsch value, unlike, say... Sure. Uh, like his uh, later works aren't supposedly so good. Escape from uh, Mars, uh, Ghost from Mars is uh, isn't terrible. All I remember about Ghost of Mars, Ghost of Mars, is was it Ice Cube was in that mm-hmm. one? I remember him in the trailer just being like, "I ain't going back." That's the only thing I know. <laughs> I about watched that about movie. four or five years ago for the first time. It has a way before fame. Um, oh, well, maybe Snatch was out by then. Jason Statham. Okay, sure. Uh, and Natasha Hendricks, who was uh, coming off uh, Species. Um, no, Escape from L- Escape from L.A. is like a parody of Escape from New York. It's basically like Last Crusade to Raiders of the Lost Ark. Sure. Now, I actually prefer Last Crusade. Same. You do, too. Uh, but Spielberg is better at self-parodying, I guess, than John Carpenter. Yeah. Whereas New York is better than L.A. But it's kind of in the same vein. It's like, here's the same movie, but we're... Uh, it's like Lethal Weapon 3 to Lethal Weapon 1. Right. Uh, it's enjoyable. Jeff... Uh, Jeff... Uh, I mean, fucking Kurt Russell yeah, I has love Kurt Russell. so much goddamn charisma. That oh, my God. He's just amazing. Just seeing him as Snake again. They were supposed yeah. to do a third one, Escape from Earth, uh, and it never happened. And now they're, the, if they never make a new one, it's going to be a, a reboot. Yeah, uh, I'm that, sure. That, that's a shame because I would have loved to see Escape from Earth with, uh, with like a 50-year-old uh, Kurt, or 60-year-old uh, Kurt Russell. Yeah, I love Kurt Russell. Uh, I'm very excited to see him in Guardians of the Galaxy. But I'm curious. Uh, well, listeners, if you don't know, Escape from New York, at least, I can't speak for Escape from L.A., is about New York was turned into a prison and he has to break into the... He has to get it the president in the future. been kidnapped. Yeah, it's a um, dystopian future. What, 97? It was probably, yeah, I think something like that. <laughs> Because I feel like in Escape from L.A., it was like, in the year 2000, the L.A. is an island. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, totally it was. Also, if you ever played, uh, if this is 90s podcast, you ever played Duke Nukem 64? Yeah. Heavily influenced by Escape from New York. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't remember where I was going with this, but Matt, if you've seen Escape from L.A., but not Escape from New York, I mean, I don't know how long ago that was, but would you? Why? why would you watch a sequel and not see the original, I guess? Because I didn't know. So Didn't even know. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. Oh, this is going to so be epic. So when I was epic. a kid, my, my dad would rent movies from Blockbuster. So he owns a title insurance company, which if you own a house, you are familiar with this portion of the sure. fucking process. Or if you've ever had to take uh, property law in law school. But yes, continue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he would rent VHS from Blockbuster and make copies of them. And then he he had this this cabinet in his office where he would let his employees take movies home. Gotcha. So he had ripped... Escape from uh, L.A., but not Escape from New York. So a lot of times they would sit at home till he got a stack and would take him to the office. So that's how I had, I had seen Escape from L.A., but did not know that New York existed until after the fact. And at that point, there's just so much to watch. And yeah. I complain about this all the time. There's just too much content to take in. That Too much. I agree with you. Yep. I, I think I saw yep. Escape from L.A. first, too, because that was a big blockbuster movie for us in the 90s. It was. Um, I, I remember when it came out like pretty well. It was Escape from New York is something back then you wouldn't see unless you happen to know somebody with the VHS. Yeah, that's fair. Well, my mom wasn't like a John Carpenter person. Yeah. Um, also, I'm looking up his... I wanted to see if we missed any of his movies. We did miss one, Starman, which I'm a big fan of. I've actually never seen Starman. Uh, I, it, it's hokey, but I like it. Jeff Bridges is an alien. Yeah. Um, but he also did... Memoir. He directed Memoirs, Memoirs of an of Invisible Man. Man with Chevy Chase. I had no idea. Yeah, I forgot about that. The big I flop. saw that movie a number of times when I was a kid. I've never seen it. And I don't remember anything about I it. I just know it because William Goldman wrote about it in his screenwriting book. But uh, yeah. it, was supposed to be, it was supposed to be like the big, big comedy, and it, it had flopped. It was a big, big failure is what it was. Uh, wow, Jock Carpenter. That's interesting. Well, I could, well you know what? He, he does do comedy well. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of funny elements in a lot of his uh, movies. Big Trouble in Little China's got a lot of comedy to and it. And again, Escape from L.A. is a comedic... Ver- uh, at one point, uh, the the tides are all fucked up, and there's nightly tsunamis in L.A., 
and Kurt Russell, Snake Plissken. He's got an eye patch. He talks with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's so good. It's so hokey. He's, he's amazing. He surfs the uh, he surfs with Peter Fonda, uh, <laughs> the tsunami on a convertible. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Also, I think I need to watch Escape from um, LA. The Ernest Borgnine character from Escape from New York, uh, Cabby. Uh, you know, the uh, innocent uh, kind of you know can't really trust him. Sort of innocent guy. Right. He, his that type is played by Steve Buscemi, uh, who yes. was like pre superstardom. I did remember that he was in it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like in between Airheads and uh, uh, what made him? What was big for him? Fargo. Uh, Fargo was really big for him. He hosted SNL not long after Fargo came out. Yeah, I remember his his monologue. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. He was like, "I'm gonna do some improvising here. Uh, somebody throw me a suggestion. No, no, uh, no, I'm no. in a fucking wood chipper here. Uh. Yeah, that suggestion sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. Isn't that uh, also was that the episode? Or was it a later episode where he did the "Hello, fellow kids," and that's like a big meme now? Oh no, that was Thirty Rock. Oh, that was Thirty Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was the the private investigator. Oh, uh, that wasn't Tony Baloney. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Tony Baloney took his pants off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Steve Buscemi. We could talk about him all day. You uh, I, I have met him. Yeah. I yeah. I don't. I don't want to specifically Ooh. say Ooh. why, but Ooh. yeah. Um, make it nice and confusing and, <laughs> and weird. His uh, brother is, a, is lives on Staten Island. Right. I, I, I know I know the family, all right? <laughs> Let's keep it at that and don't ask no questions, all right? <laughs> but going back to John Carpenter real quick, uh, have you guys ever seen In the Mouth of Madness? No. Oh, hey, uh, fun story. Oh, We're hit it. on Podcast Satira coming up. Are you really? Yeah, let me... No, he's lying. I'll exact date here in a second. And the guest. Someone just asked for it. I think it was someone I stole from you. <laughs> ben? No. <laughs> um, was it Rebecca? There's too many to choose from. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, roundabout way, Brett Zbarth, who oh. does Texas Tardigrades, who's a friend of Mike, Mike Walls. Who I stole yeah. From you. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's a weird but kind of great movie with Sam Neill. It's like very Lovecrafty and like oh, super, super weird. Um, so check it out if you haven't seen it. That's so all I have to say about it. it. It's not our topic. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Let's talk about Forrest Gump. <laughs> It's 90s. I'm sure it's in there. I'm sure it is. One of the first um, times I underage drank was to Forrest Gump. Really? No. One of the one of the first sure times you underage drank? Were you 11? Uh, probably. No, I was in eighth grade. Wow. I, I, so I guess now that you actually want to hear the story, there was a, um, this guy that I went to grade, middle school with, I guess, whatever you whatever you want to put it. His parents lived in this big fucking wood cabin, and we were watching... Forrest Gump, and he's like, let's go downstairs and drink a bunch of my dad's booze. And we did, and then went and finished watching Forrest Gump. <laughs> nice. Probably makes it a lot better. Just in time for the sad AIDS ending. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's not a great movie. Oh, I love Forrest Gump. <laughs> eh, it's overrated, but um, uh, watching it drunk is probably the best way to do it. It's a good movie. It's a very good movie. Um, yeah. um, another famous scene from Escape from L.A. is he has to get 10 th- half-court shots in 30 seconds or something. Okay. When he dies, and it's like a gladiator type thing. Yeah, uh, I think who's the bad guy? Not is it Isaac Hayes? No, Isaac Hayes is the bad guy in the first one. Who's the villain in Escape from L.A.? Uh, I can look at the cast. Um, I'm gonna look here. Anyway, Stacy Keach. Is that a no? Peter is, Fonda, is Steve some, Buscemi, somebody, somebody Latina? George's Cora Face, Cliff Robertson. That's the main stars of the movie. Nah, I think Cliff Robertson might have been president. A- anyway, it doesn't Cliff matter. Cliff Robertson was the president. So yeah. uh, he uh, he has to like get ten half court shots in thirty seconds, or he can't miss, or something like that. And it's completely ridiculous. It's like why would they have this event? Nobody would ever ever win this ever. So why like there's no suspense, right? Um, although maybe that's how gladiator events are. I don't know. Maybe the Lions won every time. Yeah, but, uh, probably. He, but he gets every single one, and it's ridiculous because it's like yeah, he's this amazing uh, special ops, um, you know. Uh, Navy SEAL or whatever gone rogue, but yeah. it, it's also amazing in basketball. It, <laughs> it, it just it's so cheesy. I, it's a fun movie. It's nowhere near as good as the first one. But. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of surprised. I'm looking the box office. Uh, it was a fifty million dollar budget. Do you guys know That's how much big money back then? Do you know how much money it made? A hundred. Matt, what do you Nin- think? Ninety six million. Well, I'm staring at the uh, the. Wikipedia oh, you're looking page. at it too. I can't see anything. Yeah. Twenty five million dollars. It was a oh, it huge bombed. bomb. It bombed. I didn't remember it being a big bomb. I mean, I just remembered I like do, seeing yeah. the the press everywhere. Uh, but I guess Carpenter in the nineties really what was had ninety five. Ninety six. He had a string of bombs. Um, you no, know, the nineties were not his. The Mouth decade. of Madness. You know, I think it's a good movie, but what it, is it? It was not. Uh, that was a failure. That was ninety three. What's it about? Mountains. No, no, no! It's uh, it's like um, 
it's about this uh, this writer played by Sam Neill who like loses his mind basically, and I it's like, like very shame. very Lovecrafty. Um, yeah, he did Vampires around then with James Woods. Yeah. Finally, a role that requires you to suck. That's what, that's what Triumph said to Bon Jovi. <laughs> right, I remember that. Um, yeah, and then Vill- Village of the Damned he uh, did, too, um, which I mostly remember for it not being Children of the Corn. Yeah, I always get that confused with yeah. Chil- Children of the Corn. Um, is, that, is it with kids, Village of the Damned? Yeah. It's it, the was, same it, movie. it was basically what the bloodening on The Simpsons parodied was Village of the but Damned. But Children of the Corn is not that? Well, Children of the Corn was slightly different. They didn't have powers, I don't uh, think. Okay. I rem- uh, we watched Children of the Corn like 20 years ago. Did we? I don't yeah, remember not, seeing maybe it. 15. In, a, in a, a mutual friend of ours' basement. I don't remember watching it. I vaguely, we did. I vaguely do. I don't remember the movie. Because I think it was one of my movie picks at one point. <laughs> so I picked Gosford Park and you and picked, I picked uh, Children of the Corn. <laughs> um, yeah, and then he made like one or two movies in the last 10 years. He made uh, one movie in the past 10 years. The Ward came out in 2011 or 2010, Is it about the, the, the Hydra agent from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Yep, that's exactly what it is. Uh, I never saw it. It was on Netflix for a while. Maybe it still is. It came out in 2010. Matt, but you're, you're a big horror guy. I feel like John Carpenter's not really your thing, besides Halloween. I, I do like horrors. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for clearing that up, Matt. <laughs> Um, I felt like you were going with somewhere with that. <laughs> no, no, just hookers. <clears throat> I don't want to say he's not my thing. Like the, the thing is, is it, when when I explain to people that I do a, a horror podcast, is I'm like the fucking laziest horror person there is. Sure, it's like I think horror yeah. and scary shit's really cool, but like I don't spend a bunch of time looking into this. Uh, sounds like I'm a great lazy. podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, to yeah. more it's like a podcast of terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, Matt. Someone on this podcast has explained it as being terrible. <laughs> it's terror. It's right terrible. Terrible. Yeah, it's full. Um, of, it's full of terror. It's a comedy. I like John I Carpenter, but the, the, once again, the problem is, is just there's so much out there. Yeah, I can't gotta, say I'm a John Carpenter guy. I can't say I'm a this guy. I can't say I'm I mean, a that he guy. Kinda just, pi- he's pioneered like a lot of shit. Uh, Halloween yeah. was one of the first slasher films. Yeah. Um, Definitely the most God, influential the, the one. The Thing is just one of my favorite movies just, ever. Not even The Thing is movies. a great movie. Also a bomb when it came out, though. He's, some, he's, done, he's done a lot of, like, staples. Yeah. And, and I appreciate Staples that, commercials? Did he do that, the commercial where like, it's the most wonderful time? <laughs> that was John Carpenter. Oh, the, yeah, he, the dad's throwing things to the shopping yep. cart. Was that John Carpenter, guest director? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, is that but, why the dad was played by Jeff Bridges? <laughs> uh, why do I keep saying Jeff Bridges? Yeah, you mean Kurt um, Russell? Yeah, I got Starman on the brain. Uh, clearly, um, I, we're, we're running out of time. I do want to play uh, the theme from Escape from New York, which is probably also the theme from Escape you, from LA. Do you have but, it queued up or not? I'm about to. Why? Okay, no, I was just going to say that it, saying John Carpenter and horror is like saying Slayer and metal. I don't know that's, what that means. Like, that's it's, fair. It's, because it's a really easy statement to make, but. The, it's really hard to make like, yeah, Slayer, South of Heaven, Rain and Blood, fucking cool. But there's just so much more that you can do with it. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Oh, on that I one. disagree. I think As he's one of the fan. masters. Well, no, I think Slayer I'm not is saying recognized, he's not. Oh, and hello. I think Slayer is a master of metal. I just think that there's just. Yeah, I think Slayer has had such an output. Uh, like Slayer I, you know, I like, like metal, one. but he doesn't have that many movies. He yeah. has like ten. He's got like a good twenty movies. Uh, Slayer and John Carpenter are like stage one butt plugs. It gets you in the You lost me on that one, man. Putting stuff in your butt. Well, anyway. It sounds like a Chuck Tingler. One of the biggest influences <laughs> uh, that uh, John Carpenter is, is a little bit for Quentin Tarantino, but very much for Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, for uh, sure. And I'd even say The Faculty and uh, uh, From Dust Till Dawn have a little Carpenter in them, but Grindhouse, especially, uh, what was the Planet... Planet, uh, Planet Terror was Rodriguez. That's and very Earth. John Carpenter. Uh, and the music, Robert Rodriguez does a lot of his own scoring, so does John Carpenter. Yep. Uh, and they both use... Um, a Neo Morricone? Is that uh, how I'm saying it right? Yeah. The good, the bad, and the ugly guy? Well, yeah. He did a, he did stuff for Carpenter, and I think that's exactly why Tarantino and Rodriguez asked them asked him to do for them. Yeah, well, I think I think he's only actually done music for Tarantino in Hateful Eight. I don't know that he did it before. He didn't do anything for he's, Robert Rodriguez? Maybe. I just know well, anyway, I know he did the music for Hateful Eight. Anyway, here's the Escape from New York theme that Carpenter wrote. And it's all minimalist synth shit. Which I love. But you hear this in the thing, they live. Yeah. 
So Morricone did the score for the thing, actually. Yeah, see? Oh, it's so it's so good. And when you're seeing this over like a hang glider that's landing on the twin towers of a, like a post apocalyptic New York, uh, it's such a great movie. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Tarantino has reused a lot of Morricone music, uh, like in Inglorious Bastards and Django Unchained. But that's not our topic. Our topic is Escape from L.A., and I think we're almost out of time. Yeah, we got about two minutes. Two minute warning. Two minutes. Uh, you guys want a lightning round of topic or what? Yes. Yeah, I wish we had Daniel from Soul queued up. All right. Well. We- uh- we guarantee could. the next one is a Daniel from Seoul. Thanks, Yacoub, for Escape from L.A. for that topic. Let's get another topic. Do you want me to get a Daniel from Seoul no, topic? No, I don't. I want a okay. random one. That's, it's the random topic generator. It's not the Dan from Seoul topic generator. All right. <laughs> Let's get one. It is from Carnooly. <laughs> really? <laughs> it yeah. really is. I hope you got his name right. Because uh, it's you're either getting it wrong twice or getting it right twice. The topic is Independence Day. That's oh, a big boy. topic oh. for a lightning round. I think we have to put um, a pin on that. We may have to come back to that one. So we'll, I'll save that one. Sorry, Matt. Do you Matt, have something you want to say about it? No, it's just, it's it's a good movie, but I agree. It's too much to talk about. Grab another one. All right. We're almost out of time. How about Dan Dennis, listener Dan Dennis? Uh, that was not going to be my guess. <laughs> with the topic, ab rollers. We could bang that out in a minute and a half. Yeah, that's from the 90s. So you would get it, and you'd roll. They don't work. And it would fix your abs. Yeah, man, you work out. What's, uh, what's, what's, what's they, the deal with ab rollers? They don't fucking work. Everyone has a six-pack underneath all the fat. Stop eating fucking cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> You can't that, target. Fat, uh, I'm saying that. Is that so, true? Like I know that you can do crunches and you can get a six pack and it'll be hidden under your fat beer gut. Yes. But is it true? Yeah. But but I thought you still had to work for it. You're saying everybody naturally just already has the six you pack. Naturally well, have a six pack. What you, you need to do is to shed the fat. You need to stop eating fucking cheeseburgers and pizza. You guys I are like from New York. Cheeseburgers right. and you pizza. Get the pizza pie. I like my pizza pie. It's hey, a, Jackie, you want to get a pizza? It's not a pizza till it comes out of the oven. <laughs> I um, put salt on my all of my sausages now because of you, Jack. No, it's, it, it, they, they taste better that way. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, ab rollers don't work. <laughs> it's a little salty. Thigh masters don't yeah, work. Yeah, I didn't know ab rollers well, was a Let me rephrase well, that. They I, do, look, but they don't. Okay, you can't. Thanks, you know I mean? Thank you for clarifying. People think that you're going to get these like cut abs, and that's not true. Like you'll. What do you do? What's like the, the ab roller? The wiggle. It's so, like the wiggle belt. The Matt, what's the explain me? Explain this ab roller. That was a good little dance you did there, Matt. So. Thanks. Um, my dad had one too, which is really funny. But essentially, it was like this weird cage that you would lay on the ground and kind of put your arms on, and it would help you. It would assist you in doing an ab workout, which fine and good. But man, you're not going to get a six pack. I, I if feel. You're I feel like down it's a um, thirty pack from KFC. I yeah. guess we're out of time. I feel like it's. It, we can. You can draw a line from the '80s aerobics movement to the '90s gadget movement. It's like the thigh yeah. master. Yeah, exactly. That's probably fair. The, and they all had foam. It was all foam based. Well, it's mm-hmm. foam based. There's the probably foam some system. foam lobby that was uh, <laughs> behind this. Well, right now, there's I see on Facebook there's a guy. It's um <clears throat> some sort of apparat high that you put on you, and it's like <laughs> run a marathon while laying on your couch, and it's like that doesn't work. Just by stimulating your muscles, it doesn't produce the same amount of caloric. Burn that by actually fucking. Yeah, but people doing don't want to get off their couch so, because you can't people watch Netflix. Oh, but I that I need to. They want to ab roll and Netflix. That's what the kids are saying. <laughs> Netflix and ab roll. Netflix and ab roll. <laughs> Netflix and ab roll. <laughs> All right, Dan. Thanks so much for that topic. That's our uh, show. But that's gonna do it for this episode of Ninety Percentile. All right, you know what comes next. We're gonna do our what have we learned uh, this week? It's brought to you by our Patreon patrons. Those of you nice enough to help support the show financially, we love you all. Uh, now we're gonna read the the. It's gonna be a bit long list this because this is the first one uh, so here's everybody who uh, supported it, and a big thank you to the following all right so our first patreon patron is francis miss pagel thank you francis alexander paul halliday thank you aph uh stephanie thank you stephanie no last name needed thank you gretchen engel no relation to madeline l apostrophe <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, Faznastic. Thank you so much, Faznastic. Sounds I assume, fantastic. I assume that's not your actual name. <laughs> uh, James Allen, thank you very much. I have nothing funny to say about your name. It's pretty straightforward. Anna Lua, thank you so much. You sound kind of like Anna Lucia from Lost. <laughs> your name, not your voice. Not, not your voice. <laughs> uh, Andy Little John, thank you very much. Do they call you that because you're John Little? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> I bet you never get that, Andy Little John. Sorry about that. Thanks for the money. Uh, Matt Stein, a friend of the show, Matt Stein. Thanks so much, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Lance, no last name needed. Probably a bass. 
probably get that a lot too. Sorry. We're, we're going to stop making fun of the names now. And <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lance. Uh, Jason Ibrahim. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Looks a little bit for like Jason Statham with my contacts out. So that's awesome. Eric Matic. Uh, if you were a robot, you'd be Eric O. Matic. That's cool. <laughs> So we're not stopping to making fun of the names. <laughs> Niall is here. Thank you so much, Niall. Long time, long time friend of the show uh, and fan. Thank you so much. Grand Pussy. Thank you. All right. Daniel Briones. Thank you so much, Daniel. Yeah, it takes some Briones to get this name right. Liam Charles. Thank- ah, that was pretty easy. Yeah, it was. Thank you, Liam. Uh, David Sheehy. <laughs> It's just she he, but I wanted to just make that noise. Thank you so much, David. Now you have to pay us an extra five dollars for the syllable the extra syllable we added. <laughs> Jesper Simola. Thank you for your Samolas. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh Raphael Lichtenberger. Thank you so much. Car Foundation Afro Newly. Thank you very much. We know you from Reddit. And, and you from your constant topics. and your constant correcting <laughs> us of, because we bought your name. Yes, hopefully we got it right. And if not, we'll re-record this. Uh Joshua Fine. Thank you, Joshua. Yeah, you did a fine job with that one. That's right. Ben, either Weiner or Wiener, so I'm gonna say them both. Ben Wiener, Ben Weiner, thank you very much. Uh Tyler Kubat. Thank you, Tyler Kubat. Katrina Lind, Katrina Lined. I don't know. I'm out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Higgins. Brian, thank you so much. Harry Ford. That's way better than Henry Ford, who was a racist. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. He, I mean, he invented the uh, assembly line, but <laughs> did not like non-white people. Brian, also named Bort. Thank you for that. You are out of license plates in the gift <laughs> shop. <laughs> Sean Fleming. Thank you very much, SF. Christopher Maginty. I love that last name. That just rolls off the tongue. A good Irish last name. So thanks, Christopher. Kyle Brown. Thank you, Kyle. A good Irish first name. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, Elliot Janiel, former guest on the uh, worst episode ever show and a uh, friend of the show. Thank you so much, Elliot. Very big thank you to Elliot. Jesse Oliver. Thank you, Jesse. Zoe J.S. Thank you, Zoe. And just in case the J is silent, even though I highly doubt it, Zoe Hayes. Of course. <laughs> Uh, Dan Dennis, say hey, thank you for ten percent of our topics. We appreciate <laughs> it, and uh, thank you for your support. Double D. Thanks, Dan. Uh, Hugo, poor Hashemi. Thank you so much, Hugo. Hopefully, no one locked you in an attic like Bart's half brother, Hugo. <laughs> and last but not least, thank you, Lucas Aaron's son, Sonny, son, son of Aaron, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and if you haven't heard your name, it's because we recorded this before you signed up. Uh, but we will get, we'll you, get next you next time. Next time. Matt, I'm going to turn to you as our guest, and I'm going to ask you, what have you learned today? Ah, oh, man, I knew a lot of stuff. I, I knew, I, I guess I learned that uh, Escape from L.A. is not the first movie, even though I kind of knew that, but I didn't really know that. <laughs> All right. I learned that... <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> I learned that... <laughs> You did this like coquettish, like little girl <laughs> <Don't>, smile. <laughs> that's not coquettish. That's just natural Jack. That's just Jack. It's Jack Ennis. <laughs> not to mention <laughs> that you have like you have your leg up in like a little effeminate way as you're leaning and holding your like glass of wine. My goblet. Your goblet of wine. Red wine with ice. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it's too. It's too late right now. <laughs> I learned. I learned. So I learned. <laughs> now I forgot what I learned. Oh, I. So one of my favorite things is coming up with fake titles for things. Sure. I like coming up with fake apps, fake Bond titles, fake Zelda titles. My I learned that I love coming up with Tinglers with fake Chuck Tingle titles. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell doesn't? Um, I learned, what did I learn? I learned that time after time has been canceled, so I should stop being like, yeah, I might actually watch that <laughs> It looks show. like time has come. Time has come for time after time. <laughs> it's so. after time after time. Oh, boy. <laughs> that should be their, like, their Battlestar 1980. <laughs> like that, that's, that's <laughs> time for time after time. For time. Ta- after time for time. There you after, go. After time after time. Speaking of time. Pounding are- in the butt after time. The, the concept of time in the fourth dimension, pounding you in the butt. Uh, using a Tesseract uh, with uh, rim jobs. Free one for Chuck Tingle. <laughs> um, speaking of time, we're running out of it. So I'm going to say, if you like this episode, check out all of our past episodes at wepodcast.com, weepodcast.com. While you're there, you can get our Simpsons show, worst episode ever. You can get our Sync Points movie commentary series. 
Get our Reddit, our Facebook, our uh, YouTube channel. We got a lot of fun stuff up on there. And you can also support us at patreon.com slash we studios. We got some fun stuff for you if you want to do that. Yeah, all all anybody who signs up for Patreon at whatever tier will get our unreleased sync points pilot from God like months before we did the Simpsons uh, sync points. So it's from like yeah. mid twenty fifteen. Uh, and it's a half hour sync points. Uh, we didn't even know what we were doing. It was a test show. It came out pretty good. We're doing the critic. Yeah. Uh, and you get all the other sync points free at, at most tiers. And the critic came out in the 90s. So there you go. There you go. It's relevant to this show. So please, uh, and it's a great way to support us. We're, we're, uh, to the people who have already supported us, it's just uh, thank you is, is an understatement. Yeah, you guys have been absolutely terrific with the Patreon. If you don't want to contribute to the Patreon, but you still want to give us some money, you can go to amazon.wepodcast.com and just shop like you normally would. It'll take yeah. you right to Amazon. We don't get the money. You still you buy things for you buy stuff. You Amazon get to be gives selfish us a Sal. Cut. Yeah, but yeah, be selfish, Sal. Every once yeah, in a while, this, but also do the Patreon. Exactly. Um, and if you don't even want to buy yourself anything, you're a, you're a monk. Yeah, that's broke. Yep. You're a broke monk. You're you a got brunk. no money. You're a brunk. <laughs> Uh, you can send us. You can write us an iTunes review. Yeah, absolutely. Go on iTunes, give us a five star review, and uh, write what you like about the show. Use '90s slang. Do whatever the hell you want. If you do that, you may get your '90s review read on air, just like Matt. If you would be so kind. Is going to read one of our iTunes reviews now, Matt. Uh, you can say no to this. I Never. Would, I'm requesting you do you read it, doing an impression of Dan, doing an impression of you. Oh man, Dan, oh, Dan, shit. can we hear your impression real quick? I don't know if I could do an impression of Matt so on the fly. I'm in Wisconsin <laughs> and I was at a bar before <laughs> hammering back a bunch of beers. So Matt, so Matt, if you can do it, at, if you can do an impression of Dan doing an impression of you reading the review. <laughs> That would make me so that, happy. That comes from a place of love, Matt. I want you to know that. No, no, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, this is a, a review from <laughs> The Pit Titan. Uh, it's called All That and A Peggy Chips. Uh, what's the 411? Uh, these two will tell you whether you finally remember the 90s or are Chris Darden. <laughs> Dan and Jack will tell you unto you an hour of good times. Uh, I'm super drunk right now, so I'm sorry, but... Uh, that is something I would say as Brighton him. every day by their show. These guys are fucking hilarious. Their wacky sense of humor, willingness to sit incorrect guests as facts that would never get old. I fact check them all the time. <laughs> Literally all the time. Is this still the same review? Is this the review? <laughs> yeah, it's still going. There's like there's a it's whole It's a really long oh, review. Because I know you fact check too, so I, I think I you're ad living. I really do. Uh since I have forgotten to shop through their Amazon link all year, despite sending Literally thousands of dollars on the site. I think you can at least do is give them a two thumbs up review and a ringing endorsement. Thanks for taking us back to a time when Donald Trump, quote unquote, bombed Trump Syria <laughs> would have been a shocking headline and no one would have asked. So uh, who's your favorite Kardashian? Keep it up, guys. I gave up on the uh, this. This review was super long. It wasn't it was really. Is it still review. going? Yeah, no, that yeah. was it. That no, was no, the no, end no, of it. Who, it. Who the wrote keep it? real guys on it. Um, the, the pit titan. The pit thank you, titan. Thank you so much. That's awesome that we got the such a lengthy, um, convoluted review there. That's yes, yeah, I love super it. Fucking hard. I, to I'm read. a big it was fan. Three, three Google lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry we gave it to you so small. Um, Dan, yeah. that's what she said. Dan, hey now. <laughs> real quick, we're running out of time. I want to hear you do an impression of Matt doing an impression of you doing an impression of Matt. Holy shit. I'm Matt so drunk right now. <laughs> I read this iTunes review. <laughs> Why do I sound like you did a bunch of steroids? <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, when it's a copy of a copy, it, like, it degrades a little bit. It said like Sling Blade was choking. I'm choking. He's choking and he goes, om, rom, rom. <laughs> He's trying to cough it up like I a cat. See. Like, I, a I just, like a cat, yeah. <laughs> like the sling blade cat. <laughs> Possible name for the episode. <laughs> we don't do that on this show. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. All right. Possible name for a Chuck Tingle. Oh, sling blade sling cat blade up cat. your butthole. <laughs> Coughing a hairball <laughs> doing an impression into your butthole. Of Dan doing an impression of Matt doing an impression of Dan doing an impression of Matt. Oh, my God. In we should probably end the show. Yeah. Guys, I'm Never. on Twitter. Matt, I'm no, 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 Matt. We're, we're Podcast of Terror. I was going to throw it to Matt after our Twitter. No, we always go for them Do first. We? Guests first. Do we? Ladies first. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you can find me personally on Twitter and Instagram at Matthew Lifeguard. Um, you can find my podcasts at uh, Podcast of Terror on Twitter, Podcast of Terror on Instagram, and then we have a Facebook page. 
Podcast of Terror. Very it's cool. called the Podcast of Terror, in case you weren't paying any attention. Get that I hashtag branding out. Of, yeah, hash, hashtag tinglers, tinglers <laughs> of terror. Absolutely. Um, I'd read one of our reviews if anyone ever fucking left them. <laughs> I left you one. I didn't. Uh, Maybe yeah, I should. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Mr. Dan didn't. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Jack, I don't know if you listen to the show. Dan does. He's our biggest fan. Um, Dan has told me he did. You didn't. I though. did. Yeah, because I don't yeah. have anything yeah, to prove. I just listen to it. I love. Well, I love you both, regardless. I'm pretty sure you mentioned on an episode once, like uh, you were talking about us, and you're like, "Ah, oh, Dan and Jack don't listen. I, we can say whatever we want." And I was like, "Ah, uh, him, sir. I was listening <laughs> on my way home from work. I listen to most of the episodes uh, that have our guests on. Them. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. To make sure that they don't so, do a good job. A solid ninety five percent of the uh, our episodes. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna start taking some of your guests. All right, uh, I'm, I've been trying to give you my <laughs> guests. I know you have. Anyway, uh, so I'm, at Jackie fun, no Matt. Break. I'm at Jackie No Breaks. I'm at Then Dan Says. The podcast, as always, is at 90 percentile or at We Studios Pod, and uh, all of that is again at WePodcast.com, W E E Podcast.com. So, all right, so thank you, Matt, and uh, thanks everybody for hanging out with us. My name is Jack. My name is Dan, and we will see you in another decade.